Hi everyone, my name is Andy Wheelock. I'm the facilitator for the Using Google Sites for Self-Guided Learning course. I'm glad you're able to join me for this course. Essentially, in a nutshell, what you're gonna be doing throughout this course, if I were to put it down as the three objectives, the first task, if you look over here on the website, and keep in mind, everything you do will be part of just this, this website. The first task is to kind of watch these three videos. And again, I tried to keep them short and sweet. And once you watch them, it's just setting up a Google site and putting in your content and then how to publish your Google site. And when you're finished with that, you're gonna go down to the bottom of the screen where it says completion survey and make sure you click that. And what should happen is it's gonna go out to a Google form. You'll fill out the form with what you've done and created it again, very simple, I think and clean, not very time consuming. And then you should get a certificate emailed to your email and a PDF that says you've completed the task. So I hope that um, makes sense for you. For task two, again, you're gonna watch uh, three videos uh, using Screencastify as the tool of choice that I prefer. There are other tools out there such as Loom. You'll see them down here. You can use Loom, Screencast-O-Matic. If you're comfortable with another uh, video creation too, by all means do that. And then you're going to again watch these three videos on how to create Screencastify videos and hopefully you'll create one or two yourself. And then again, remember to click the button here and that'll send you to your survey which will give you a course uh, completion certificate and then finally the last step is going to be creating quizzes off of your uh, content and then uh, creating a google form and if you want to as what i've done is to create an autocrat form builder that'll give your students a certificate of completion there are other ways to do that I tend to like Autocrat, that's just one option. So those are the kind of three overall tasks for you to complete. Again, I would think you're probably gonna spend an hour, probably you know, maybe two hours probably on, on each uh, task and then your final project will hopefully, uh, I'm hoping that you'll take some time with that and create something, but the ultimate goal is for you to create something that you're gonna use with your class for this year. I mean. That's the ultimate goal, and hopefully uh, you'll feel it's relevant and useful to your specific classes. So I'm really glad you're joining me, and I hope you love this course, and I hope um, you'll reach out to me if there you have any questions or problems. Uh, there is a final projects tab. If you wanna see what others have created in the past to give you a good idea, feel free to click on uh, their sites, and that should give you an idea, kind of the expectations. And then also, I am going to have some office hours. If you have any questions, support needs, by all means, uh, just reach out to me at any time. Again, I will help you no matter when, where, how. Uh, it doesn't have to be within these office hours, but I thought I'd just leave these open. It's kind of good for me just to have some hours available that I can make sure I'm open for questions, but these office hours, this first one will be in Google Meet and the other ones will be in Mozilla Hubs. If you've never tried Mozilla Hubs, it's really kind of fun. Uh, all you need is some sort of device, whether it's a phone or a laptop or a Chromebook, and you should be able to log into Google or, or Mozilla Hubs. And you'll, you, even though it's kind of fun and quirky with a little avatar, you'll actually find that you can do a lot as you would do a Zoom, as in share screens and et cetera. So anyways. Those office hours will be listed. I'm happy to help you during the office hours or I'm happy to help you anytime you have questions. So I really hope you'll enjoy this course. It's kind of a labor of love for me, this course. I, I really like doing this style of online learning and I hope you'll like it.